Harvard, Mr. Tripstell, Nikki, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, hello. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Uh, I've been getting harassed a lot lately. Ladies, you know about this. I've been getting harassed. Mostly via text message, some emails, a lot of men. You know, there's this one guy, maybe you've heard of him, uh, he's sending me a lot of texts. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Bernie Sanders, that's his name. Uh, I gave him a dollar 20 minutes ago, he sent me seven texts already. Not a single one of them was a dick pic. And I'm not saying I want that, but don't waste my time also, you know. Come on. I don't even know how they all, I'm getting texts from all of the candidates. Like, I don't even know how they get my numbers. They're all texting me. Like, this is Janelle from Bernie Sanders' campaign, and we're just texting you because, did you see the debate last night? Bernie was on fire. Okay, I've seen Bernie Sanders, all right? Steph Curry gets on fire, all right? Bernie Sanders doesn't get on fire. Bernie Sanders gets indigestion, okay? <laughs> this is Bradford Lee from Elizabeth's campaign, and we're just texting you because we need you. Let me stop you right there, all right? I have a long list of ex-girlfriends who can attest to the fact that telling me you need me does nothing, all right? <laughs> so don't even fucking try it. <laughs> this is Chad from Mayor Pete's campaign. Block, delete, throw my phone in the ocean. How the fuck did you get my number, <laughs> Keep your number. I don't, know. I don't know how I feel about Mike just yet. <laughs> Did you guys follow the impeachment at all? The, it's over now. They, you know, they rushed. They rushed through, which is a shame that it's over. Not for our country. I don't care about that. I mean, it's a shame for me personally that impeachment is over because impeachment was really good for my sex life. It was. It turns out I love to role play as Mitch McConnell. You know. <laughs> Every night my girlfriend was like, can we have a witness or something? And I was like, no! And then that was the end. <laughs> She'd call the Senate switchboard and cry. She loved it. Uh, some people say terrible things about the president. And like, no matter how you feel about it, like, some people say things like, I hope the president dies. And no matter how you feel about him, I don't think you should say that. I don't think you should want that. Personally, I want the president uh, uh, to live. I do. I want the president to live for 10,000 years at the exact same mental and physical trajectory that he is currently on. <laughs> and no matter how badly he might wish for death, it will never come. But I'm a patriot, okay? That's just me. I report you to I, uh, I don't, um, I don't know if I'm a good person. I, uh, I'm a white man, so behind the eight ball. <laughs> I do feel like white men get a bit of a bad, like we get painted with the broad brush, all right? Just a little bit unfair how we get painted with the broad brush. Like not every single white man is a rapist or a colonizer. Some of us are school shooters. Please remember that, okay? <laughs> We're all different. We're like snowflakes, both kinds, you know? <laughs> not every white man voted for Donald Trump. Some of us are felons. We can't vote. We can't vote for our bullets, right? I don't know what you're laughing about. That's not funny. I love the guy. Not every white man is an apologist for a patriarchal, sexist, racist system that devalues and minimizes the voices and power of women and people of color at the expense of white wealth and male privilege. That's not all. Well, no, I heard it. That is all of us. That is all of us. Some of us are nicer about it, you know? We're having fun. We're having fun here at Burger Stand. So it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. I have a girlfriend for Valentine's Day this year. That's different. It's fun. And uh, I don't I root for her. I you know, I hope she's enjoying it. It's going okay. She she did ask me though recently. She was like, So what's your we going on a little while? What's your what's your thing? What's your what's your kink? What are you into? You know? Which is an exciting question. Uh, and so for the last, you know, like three weeks or so, I have been uh, desperately trying to make one up. I don't have one. I didn't know I was supposed to have one. I missed that day of sex ed, where there's like, this is the penis, uh, this is the vagina, and uh, this is my friend Greg, who's gonna help demonstrate the Tallahassee steam shovel. Greg, get in here. Let's start with that. We're gonna pass out the dildos. That was your homework. You guys all did the homework. I didn't do the homework, I don't know. I did try and make one up, and it's hard, because it has to be weird, but not too weird, but it has to be a little bit weird. So I was like, babe, I don't know, you know that uh, sometimes when we're making out, and I stop paying attention, uh, our teeth will click together, it's a tiny bit. That, I kind of like that. <laughs> she was like, no, no you don't. And I was like, you're right, I don't. I don't know what I'm talking about. But there was that one time, 
time we were going at it, and then we knocked the, the picture frame off the wall and it hit me in the head. That did something for me. She's like, you were horribly concussed. You have a terrible concussion. And I was like, who are you? I'm sorry, it's very fuzzy still. Still recovering. It's tough. I tried to, I was like, okay, figure this out. Just start with something you actually like. That was not easy. I don't know what I like. I was born Catholic. I was raised Catholic. I don't know how to take care of myself even. I haven't had a fruit in three weeks. Something I like. That's impossible. I thought about it for four hours. And I ultimately came up with, I like a freshly made bed. Okay, but that doesn't get me anywhere. There's no, there's nowhere to, how do we fucking find a middle? All right, I can get on top of a freshly made bed, and then you just stick a finger in my ass. Is that a middle ground? Can we do that? <laughs> Rest on top of the freshly made. And she's like, oh, there it is. Okay. Well, I am enjoying uh, one of these two things. All right. <laughs> and it's the duvet. I love this duvet. You guys have been so fun. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming out. Support local comedy.